Hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about the Hero HF100 which is the most affordable 100cc bike in this segment. So in this video we are going to talk about what all the features we get in this bike. So if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please do subscribe. So without further delay let's start the video. So starting from the front here we get the same halogen headlamp and the bulb indicators in this bike. We still don't get the LED headlamp and LED indicators. On the windshield you will get the hero logo as a sticker and not as a 3D logo. So now talking about the front wheel here we get the black color alloys with the 18 inches of tire. And in this bike we don't get the any kind of ABS or IBS system. So black color alloys are the basic difference between the HF Deluxe and HF 100. So in HF Deluxe we get the silver color alloys. On the left side if you can see we get the new graphics in the HF 100. If you compare it with the HF Deluxe, so these graphics are new as well as the Hero logo we get as a sticker and not as 3D. So now talking about the engine capacity of this bike. So this bike comes with the 97.2 cc of engine which generates 8.36 PS of power with 8 Newton meters of torque. This bike comes with the 4 speed gearbox and the gear pedal is in the black color. If you can see in the middle we get the HF 100 written over there. And the red, black and white color looks really great. So in the rear we get the sari guard as well as the longer footrest for the ladies so they can keep legs comfortably. So if you can see here we get the adjustable rear suspension. So you can adjust the rear suspension according to your choice. Coming towards the rear side so this is the tail lamp of this bike which comes with the halogen bulb and the indicators are also the bulb indicators we get here. On the rear also you will get the 18 inches of tire which will be obviously tubeless. So in this bike the silencer guard is in the black color and in HF Deluxe we get silencer guard in the chrome. So this is the basic difference uh, Hero have made in the HF 100 and HF Deluxe. So in this bike we only get the kick option and not the self start option. And same you can see here HF 100 written over there and all the graphics in the right side. As I said we only get the kick option in this bike and we don't get any kind of self start option. So we also get the brake lever in the black color as well as the catalytic converter is mounted beside the brake. This is the right side profile view of Hero HF100. Now coming towards the instrument console here we get only analog instrument console in this bike. So the information you will get will be limited. Here we get the speedometer, the fuel gauge indicator, the uh, lights and the engine malfunction light and the indicator lights. So now coming towards the fuel tank, so this bike comes with the 9.1 liters of fuel tank. So mileage of this bike is around 65 to 70 kmpl which is very great. So now talking about the handlebar buttons, so in the left we get the low beam high beam button indicator and the horn button and we don't get the passing light button and on the right side we don't get any kind of buttons. So now coming towards the mirrors, so mirror size is great and you will not face any kind of issues while uh, looking in the mirror. Talking about the seat of this bike, so seat here we get the single seat in this bike and the cushioning uh, of this bike is average. I would not say it is very soft and very hard, it is in the medium. Talking about the rider seat, so it is very comfortable for riding this bike in the city. Now talking about the pillion seat, so pillion seat is also very much comfortable for this city riding. This is the another difference of the Hero HF Deluxe and HF 100. So this is the grab handle which got changed in the HF 100. So basically what Hero has done with this bike is they just did a cost cutting. Uh, they just replaced the 3D logos with the stickers and the grab handles with the simple grab handle. And the uh, chrome parts with the blackout parts. Uh, just to make this bike more affordable in the uh, market. So as I said mileage of this bike is around 65 to 70 kmpl which is great. So basically in this bike we don't get any kind of additional features like ABS or IBS or the digital uh, instrument console or the DRLs or the LEDs and we don't we also don't get any kind of chrome parts. So the on-road price of this bike is around 61,000 which may get very according to state. So guys if you are looking for the most affordable 100cc bike and more mileage giving bike so this is the option for you. 
but you will not get any kind of additional features like self start the DRLs and the IBS or ABS systems. So guys this is it for now in this video so if you have any queries please do let me know in the comment section so if you like this video make sure you do hit the like button and do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so we'll meet in the next video with the new bike and the new information so till then thanks for watching